right, everybody, I'm very excited for this moment. We've been talking about this, and it is officially here. The producer. That's what I'm just going to call him. He is the producer. Mr. Rob Burnett is on the phone. Good morning, Rob. Hello, Big J. How are you? I am fantastic. For people that don't know, you are the uh, producer of, the executive producer, I should say, of the David Letterman Show. I mean, you've, you've worked with Dave for how long? I have worked here amazingly for 27 years. I know your your listeners can't tell this. I look fantastic. Oh, you do. Yeah, I just looked up pictures of you yesterday. I spent about uh, 45 minutes doing like my uh, Rob Burnett uh, picture collage, and you look you've you've aged very very well. And I think you're you're at your best right now. I said, you know what? I and there's some old pictures of me. Uh, I'm definitely better than I used to. You know, here's my trick, and here's the, your listeners can do this. I looked so crappy in my 20s and my 30s, you know, so that now I look fantastic compared to that. I'm just average, but that's what you want to do. You want to try to gain a lot of weight in your 20s and then just kind of go down to a, you know, a normal weight, and people are like, wow, you look amazing. Mm -hmm. That's very good. That's actually what my producer on my show, McLovin here, is doing. I just dropped 85 pounds, and he's put on how much? Uh, about 85 pounds. About 85 pounds. So he's. <laughs> I'm well on my way to uh, Rob Burnett status. Yeah. You you guys have a deal where your total weight must be the same at all times? Yeah, yeah. exactly. We just had our... It's uh, in our contract. We had our U.S. Senator up here yesterday, and he said the same thing. He's like, so you guys just have like 400 pounds between you, and you just shift it back and forth? And I said, yeah. Uh, wow, you lost 85 pounds. That's impressive. Yeah, exactly. It's amazing what methamphetamine will do to a person. It's <laughs> have you thought about changing the big J, or that, that just stays? Uh, I think it just stays because of uh, our company's way too cheap to like rebrand anything, so I think it's like I have to just stay because because we couldn't get new stickers or something. So now, let, let me give you a quick lesson in show business, Big J, okay? Because that's not the answer you want there, okay? When I say, you lost 85 pounds, are you still Big J, right? Your answer is, the big isn't my size, the big is my talent. Okay, that's, that's what you got to say. Yeah, I've been saying, there's a lot of things big about me, Rob, but I keep getting sued by the FCC every time I mention what... <laughs> Go, what I'm now we're talking. Uh, right, Rob, let, before we get off on uh, many more tangents, because there's going to be a lot of them, let's talk about uh, the movie. You've got a yeah. uh, movie now, which is uh, kind of a departure. You've been doing the Letterman thing, and this is a movie thing something you've always kind of wanted to do? Is this something you're going to do more of, or is this just kind of a one-off deal that you really liked? Uh, no, no, I, I, I would love to do more. Uh, you know, John Beckerman and I did a show called Ed that was on NBC for four years, and uh, you know that was kind of like making little movies every week. So uh, you know, for us, this was super fun uh, to try this, and if you know, if we can uh, do more of them, I think we'd love to. That would be awesome. Well, tell people a little bit about this film. Uh, so it's called We Made This Movie, and it's about five high school kids uh, that have no prospects. They live in a poor town. They decide we're going to become rich and famous by making a movie. We've got video cameras. We can do it. So they set out, and they're going to make you know their version of Jackass. There's only one problem. They're horrible at it. They're not funny. <laughs> they're not fearless. They're terrible. But the trick of the movie is that the main character is so convinced that the thing is going to be huge that he gets these three freshman geeks to follow them around with cameras because he wants the making of. He wants the DVD extras. He wants to document everything they've done. Uh, so what happens is these other cameras actually start capturing their real lives. Uh -huh. and, and eventually uh, you see that by they, they've accidentally made a completely different movie than they set out to make. It's actually kind of a very sweet, heartbreaking uh, coming-of-age story about these you know kids growing up in this, this small town trying to, you know, trying to make something of themselves. That's cool. We made this movie. Uh, you can watch it premiere online tonight or uh, on demand online starting tomorrow. So. And you should mention online tonight for free. We've got tonight in New York City, we're having this enormous premiere. We've got 650 people. we got red carpet. we got celebrities. Uh, Tom Cavanaugh and Mike Lee and Black are going to be there. Jim Gaffigan is doing stand-up. There's a whole show going on and at 6.30 Eastern Time you can tune in on the web and watch all the comings and goings of the celebs. You can watch the, our live show and the movie all for free. And then the next day it goes to uh, iTunes and, and all that stuff. So not only can you watch the movie for free tonight, but then tomorrow when your friends have to pay for it, you can feel superior to them. It's perfect. <laughs> I love it. Speaking of uh, feeling superior here, this is going to be really, really good for you. I have a producer on my show here, and he's um, he's really just the only other person that works on the show, and like we didn't know what to call him, and uh, so we just gave him the title of producer. But really, he just kind of he fills my water bottles up and sometimes <laughs> like messes things up on the show. Like, 
Do you have any advice for him on like what he could do to be a really, really good producer? Like, what do you do when you go into work every day? What is your goal? Are you like, I'm here to make Letterman look good. I'm here to create a good show. I'm here. Like, what is your objective when you go into work each day on the Letterman show? Well, the first thing, of course, is I've got to make sure that I fill Dave's water perfectly. Okay. Perfectly. Check. Check. Do that well. This is network television. You know what I mean? I can't mess around now and not and not have those coffee cups filled perfectly. That's you know what I'm saying? Um, no, I think the, the true answer is yes. We've got a, a giant staff up here, and uh, everyone's got different jobs. But the ultimate job is how can we all try to help Dave uh, be the best he can be on the air on that night. Excellent. And so, I mean, any tips on like how my producer McLovin could book uh, Barack Obama? He seemed like a good guest. Like any tips on how that? Happened? happens yeah just uh, call him yeah i think well have you had that's a good place to start have you have you called barack uh i called a company called white house <laughs> that's, that's my, all you need that's my that's, guy you, you know what i think i think you're in good shape i think having a guy that calls a company named white house is better than having barack obama on your good, show i think good. your guys are just doing fine we are solid here and uh, i want to know does uh, letterman hate us here in montana now i mean he's got that pl- property here but didn't we have that crazy douchebag that was like trying to stalk him and stuff here is he does he hold animosity towards our whole state because of that one weirdo uh, I, I can tell you uh, with complete confidence that uh, I think there is no place in this world that Dave likes better than Montana. Uh, you can see it on his face whenever he talks about it. Uh, there's, the, there's a romance to, 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 to Montana that I think uh, is deep within him. So, no, I, I don't think you guys are going to get rid of him anytime soon. Good. We like that. Are you ever going to come out here with him? You should come out sometime and he can do his like uh, rich and famous private on the, the ranch thing and you can come and uh, we can eat a burger or something in town and then you can go back to being rich i would love that i i i would love that i'm, I'm in. Bring, in bring the whole crew i say letterman uh, worldwide pants company retreat montana 2013 i'll arrange it i'll bring the potato salad it's on me don't worry and we'll have a great time we'll ride horses we'll shoot guns we'll what, whatever day wants to do we'll laugh we'll smoke cigars whatever I'm on it. I'm on it. It's in the works. All right. Executive producer of Letterman's show and a president of Worldwide Pants, Rob Burnett. Check out the movie. We made this movie tonight free online or tomorrow on demand. Rob, everybody on our text line is saying great things about you. They love you. You're grounded. You're awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time for us, man. You're a great guy. Thanks so much for having me. I really appreciate All it. All right. See you, Rob. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. The Big J Show. Weekday mornings from 6 till 10. On Billings' number one hit music station. Hot 101.9.